هل يستوي الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون are those who know those who have knowledge are they equal to those who know not wakala was isa alayhi salatu wassalam in answer to this question before we start it doesn't matter what color or race any of the prophets were what matters is their message and we've established that every prophet every messenger was sent with la ilaha illallah none has the right to be worshiped in truth except allah alone without any partners and whoever accepted that they were from the believers regardless of their culture their color or their race whoever rejected that they were from the disbelievers from the mushrikun regardless of their color their lineage or their race the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam brothers and sisters he clarified to us because this issue of race it is utilized by the shaitan to cause confusion and also to promote all types of corruption and even disbelief but the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the farewell sermon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam alhamdulillah he showed the position of al-islam ya ayyuhan nas he said o mankind inna rabbakum wahid indeed your lord is one wa inna abakum wahid your father is one meaning the believers worship allah azza wa jalla alone without any partners that is the bond that unites ahlul iman your father is one meaning all of mankind came from adam regardless of their color adam was the father of the whole of mankind because adam was created from different colored earth that is why mankind is of different colors and then he said ala la fadla li arabi ala ajami it's clear there is no superiority or excellence for the arab over the non arab or the non arab over the arab there is no superiority for the red over the black the black over the red illa bi taqwa except through piety piety is what determines a person's excellence inna akramakum indallahi atqakum the best of you before allah are the most pious anyone who thinks that they are superior because of the color of their skin or their tribe and that makes them superior to somebody else and not their iman not their piety is insane and has an inferiority complex they are uncomfortable with their own self because that is illogical aqlan and it contradicts every message that we find in the book of allah the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that clear no. naam so that's a muqaddimah that's an introduction with regards to the color of isa alayhi salatu wassalam then even this look how people have tried to utilize this in order to show the superiority of one race over another the christians unfortunately the european christians they portray jesus and in al islam alhamdulillah it is prohibited to draw or to depict any of the prophets it is forbidden it is prohibited but look how the european christians they utilized the depiction of jesus because they painted jesus as having blonde hair blue eyes white pale skin to show that the european is superior to others people of color that picture was drawn by somebody that never met jesus and came maybe hundreds of years later but what do we find in al islam like we said it doesn't matter what color jesus was and we believe that allah azza wa sent prophets of all colors and all races because allah said it in the quran wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasulan an i'budullah wa ijtanibut taghut we sent to every nation a messenger commanding them to worship allah stay away from taghut we can only affirm what is in the quran and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what do we find in the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if we look in bukhari and muslim if we look in bukhari and muslim you have the hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said bainama ana naim ra'aytuni atufu bil ka'ba fa idha rajul adam he said when i was sleeping he said i saw myself making tawaf around the ka'ba 
And I saw a man who was brown, who was brown skinned. In the hadith, it mentions the Prophet sallallahu he said, I said, man hadha? Qalu, they said, Hadi ibn Maryam. That is the son of Mary, meaning Jesus. So we have affirmation that Jesus was brown, brown skinned. But there are other hadith. For example, the Prophet sallallahu again in Bukhari and Muslim, the most authentic collection of hadith ala wajh al-ard. That, fa'amma Isa fa'ahmar, ja'adun arid al-sadr. As for Jesus, he was red skinned. The ulama of Islam, there's a principle. What they say, Ikhwan, إِذَا أَمْكَنَ الْجَمْعَ وَجَبَ الْمَصِيرِ إِلَيْهِ If it is possible to understand the text in light of one another, that is the position that we have to adopt. We can't accept some texts and reject others. Rather, we try and understand them in light of one another. So, Ahl al-Ilm, what they say, that Isa, that Isa Jesus, the son of Mary, alayhi salatu was was light brown complexion. Because... He wasn't all the way brown. He wasn't all the way red. He was somewhere in between. Naam. He had a light brown complexion. And Ikhwan also, if we look at his lineage and we look to the place that he is from, Alhamdulillah, this makes sense. But that's what we find in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. But again, it does not matter what color he was. It does not matter what lineage, what lineage that he came from. If he is a messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we believe in him the way that we've been commanded to believe in him. Because what unites us is la ilaha illallah. And it's not about color and it's not about race. Because everything is a discussion about race. Rather the Muslim, the closest person to the Muslim is the Muslim. The closest person to the mu'min, the believer is the mu'min. Even if that person is from a totally different race. If somebody doesn't believe that firmly in their heart, they have a disease which is known as the diseases of jahiliyyah. They're sick. May Allah purify them with the text of the Quran and the Sunnah. And if you look, Ikhwan, some people have not escaped nationalism and bigotry. We gave the example of the European Christians. Likewise, you have the example of the nation of Islam. The nation of Islam who said that God is a black man. They have the same disease. This is a disease that has plagued mankind for ages. And the only people that escape it are the people of a Tawheed. The Prophet said it, it's simple. He said, There's no virtue to the Arab over the non-Arab or the non-Arab over the Arab except with piety, taqwa. So if you want to be better than somebody else, don't go around saying, you know, I'm Arab, or I'm white, or I'm Chinese, or I'm black, or I'm red, or I'm this, or I'm that. Show us through the piety of your statements and your actions and the piety of your heart. That will make you better if you are truly pious.